Hey hi, this is Varsha and welcome to the QA belt. So in this session today I will explain you about the regex function, what is the types of regex function, what is the use of regex function and when we have to exactly use this regex function, which we are using in CSS and XPath writing. So I will show you one demo with real time example like how we can handle a dynamic web element using this different different regex function. And for any single web element, how we can write different types of regex function, how we can use different regex function in CSS and XPath. So I'll show you the demo and uh, uh, we can also handle dynamic web elements using this regex function and it is very useful and very short trick writing XPath and CSS. Yeah. So I have prepared few slides for explaining this regex function basically and these are the regex function in selenium. So first let's understand what is regex function. At the time the attribute value is too long it will be a mess with the code and we need to take unique text from the said attribute and need to generate a regular expression by using xpath. So basically sometimes you have also so like, saw like uh, uh, the class name, the, cla the attribute of class, uh, the value of this attribute like too long, like around 40-50 uh, characters or 40-50 words and these are also alphanumeric, alphanumeric like uh, if you are refreshing your page, if you are loading your page again, so that value is changed definitely. So that time you have to write your regular expression basically and let's understand uh, in which scenario you will use regular expression so yeah the first one is where the only available attribute are alphanumeric these attributes change with every page refresh so like uh, in your particular tag like where your web element is present so there is only single attribute and the value of this attribute is too long or it is changing on every refreshing or, or refreshing the page. So in that scenario, you have to use the regex function basically. And second, when when the attribute value is too long, like 30 to 40 characters long, will mash up your code. So if this uh, attribute value is too long, then definitely it will change. It will never unique uh, if the value is too long. So that time we have to use some part of this particular string that is a substring and using this substring we can write own xpath or own CSS with the help of regex function. And the third thing is to handle dynamic web elements. This is a major problem in Selenium like how we can handle the dynamic web elements or how we can write a xpath for dynamic web element. So for this particular handling this dynamic web element I had already created few videos which I will provide you in this description box and please go through this uh, concept and this videos so that will be helping you. Or it will be giving you proper concept, proper explanation, proper understanding to, to handle the dynamic web elements. So yeah, let's check like types of reg regex functions. So what are the types of regex function basically? Using asterisk uh, symbol like we can write a regex function and using caret symbol we can also write the regex expression using dollar we can also write the regex expression and using contains math, contains expression we can also write the our x path and using starts with expression we can also write the expression so in which case we will use this asterisk symbol in which case we have to use the caret symbol in which case we have to use this dollar regex expression or where we have to use contains starts with the expression i'll show you with my uh, real demo so it will be really helpful for you so let me start and uh, thanks for watching this video basically and please do comment if you have any question related to software testing in the comment section so or also if you have any tips 
or if you have any points about the regex expression regex function so please do comment in the comment section thank you yes yeah, so let me share my screen and here i'm using gana.com and uh, here i want to inspect this particular search field and uh, let me little bit scroll it so we have a single attribute that is class name and uh, inside this button tag okay so first let me tell you like how we can use this regular expression basically in which case we can use this regular expression so this is the attribute and this is the value of this attribute so let's assume this is a string okay and inside this string we have starting text that we can say input right or we have subtext that we can say put or underscore box right anything or what we have end text that is box basically right box or we can also say underscore box right so whenever we want to use this type of string starting text subtext end text we have to use regular expression basically so here i'll i'll show you in which case we have to use this expression in which case we have to use this expression and in which case we have to use this expressions so starting text first talk about the starting text so whenever we want to write a particular css for any uh, specific web element we are using this caret expression okay i'll show you uh in this particular gana.com and when we want to uh, write a css based on the sub text we will use this asterisk expression and whenever we want to use and text we will use dollar expression okay and for the starts with expression and contains expression we will use sub text for the contains and for the started with expression as you can understand with the text only like this is a starting text okay and also understand one more thing here like this first three expression we will use only in css so when we are writing a particular css for finding a specific web element we will use this reg regex expression and this last two expression we will use in only in expat okay so let me show you first so this is my uh, web element let me click control f and uh, here i am using css basically so my tag name is button and opening square bracket and my tag name is class and equal to and my attribute value is input okay so now this css is invalid but when i am using regular expression so this css will work so here i want to show you first starting text where i am passing input value so let me use here caret symbol okay here you can see one of one so what this caret keyword does like it uh, what, what is the what whatever string will start with this particular sub string text this will uh, populate this particular web element let's assume if i uh, if i provide like input underscore it will also work because my string is started with input underscore okay and uh, let me show you first let me copy this one and uh, paste it here so you can also check later and for this particular sub text we will use asterisk expression okay so let me pass some put value of this particular attribute and i'm just using asterisk symbol here 
Yeah. So this is fat fat matching for this particular web element. Like if I am here, I am using subtext of this particular string, and it will returning me one of one matching. Okay. So let me copy this one also, and I uh, am pasting here. Yeah. And in which case we are using dollar expression. Like whenever we have to use and text basically. So let me just pass this. underscore box like my string is ending with underscore box and uh, this regex function is dollar yeah so this will work for like my this particular string is end with this particular and text and uh, let me show you also this one like i am removing underscore and my string as correctly Ending with this box text, so that is also correct. Okay, so here I am showing you a single example with multiple regex expression. Like for this single search field, how we can use multiple ways of writing regular expression while CSS or XPath writing. Okay, and uh, let me. cover this starts with expression so as i told this expression we will use for the xpath only yeah so let me use start with expression as i told we have to uh, use this method or this expression with xpath only okay so let me write down xpath with the starting double slash and my tag name is button and uh, i'm opening a square bracket and here i'm passing just my start with regex okay and inside this method we have to pass a attribute name and the value of attribute my attribute value is like my attribute value is string is started with input okay so you have to also uh, make sure like when you are using this start with x regex so you don't need to pass equal to basically you have to simply pass colon okay as if i use uh, equal to here my x path is incorrect okay so you have to use simply colon so yeah this is also giving me one of one like this is a perfect matching for this particular web element so this way we can use starts with expression let me paste it here and uh, here i'm using contains so for the same particular web element i'm using contains method like how this contains method will work so this contains method basically work for each substring like the input is also a particular substring for this string right and if i i'll pass a simply put so this is this will also work because basically contains uh, when we are using this contains method like if our attribute value is too much long or like uh, it is uh, like some part of this uh, attribute values is changing for every refresh or every uh, loading page so that time we have to pass a particular substring which is unique for each time like whenever refreshing the page whenever uh, reloading the page so the particular substring is not changing but the end of a string and starting of this string is changing frequently so that time we can use contains method So let me simply copy this contains x path here as well. Yeah. So I hope this all five regex expression will help you, and uh, it will also give you some unique picture of finding the particular web element on the web page. So I hope this will help you. And uh, I'll show you one more thing. Tip of the day. What exactly the tip here? Like some whenever you are using CSS, so sometimes might be you will be confusing about the tag names, like which is my parent uh, tag, which is my child tag. So that time you can simply pass this asterisk symbol, so it will identify uniquely, like 
what which which tag uh, you are using uh, which having a this particular attribute and the value of this attribute is like that so as you can see this is also one of one so this is the tip actually if you are confusing with the tag names then you can use asterisk symbol basically so it will work this asterisk symbol will work in css and xpath both